What's up viewers and creators? So we do have the comic book Scorched by McFarlane and you have the Freak Mandarin there as you can see and the She Spawn and Curse, right? Okay, Freak Mandarin Spawn and She Spawn and Curse. That's the four figures there. It looks like to me, I'm thinking you, you shouldn't take these out of the plastic. Uh, looks like it's supposed to stay in there with the comic book. The figures, they do have a little bit of articulation, but they're more like slug figures. You have uh, maybe a rotation in the shoulder of the figure, or you might have um, a leg move and some of the body moves or whatnot, but it's not really articulate, but they can move a little bit. I would think you would keep these, yes, inside the plastic i would just keep them in condition you could buy an extra one just to take out and look at but for me i'm looking at these like a you know a stay inside plastic collectible you see what i'm saying so let me know what you guys think you think that you should keep it in the plastic or should you take it out or buy an extra and take it out that sounds good right let me know so let's look at these things a little more so right on we're looking at that you see the comic book display there you got the scorched that's pretty cool. Spawn engraved there. You got the logo there. This thing is tightly tucked away in the plastic. Doesn't seem like you need to open it. Look at that artwork. Okay, number 13 on the comic. Got the money sign there. How much it's? $2.99 US dollars. Who it's by? The figure right there. And then you got the little slug figures. What I call them slug figures are not actually, actually slug figures, but they seem like they are to me because they don't move. They have a few movements, just barely. As you can see, look on his arms. They rotated probably around. I don't know if there's any head movements, but you see the legs there. Nothing crazy. So Freak and Mandarin Spawn on this one. Pretty, pretty cool. That right there is the stand for the comic book. That's pretty neat. Okay, we'll take a look at the back just in a minute. Let's go for that. Okay, there we are for the back. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, so you see there you have some stuff, some saying right there. And you have the artwork of She Spawn, the Spawn right there himself. Okay, and then there's the back of that, right? Okay, let's go back to it. All right, so what do you think? Do you think that this should stay in the plastic or you should take it out? Let me know in the comments. Let's look at the other one. Okay, we see it here. There it is. Same same thing. Spawn, McFarlane Toys, Scorched, and you got the comic book right there with this place stand. You have the artwork, and then you're going to have She Spawn and Curse there. There's Curse, okay? slug slash a little bit articulation figure and she spawn right okay you see that there they go not bad okay all right and there's a scorch stand and let's go to the back let's look at this right quick okay there nice nice little figure that nice uh, artwork right okay let's go to the back all right there we are on the back you got this okay that's the same like on the bottom of a box there's some artwork spawn there a gunslinger there and is that anti or i'm not sure who that is is i don't know is that reaper i'm not quite sure okay and there's the bottom there so nothing to it there right okay so what do you think you think these should come out the plastic or should they stay in i i like them inside for the collecting thing but i like to get an extra one just to take out to see what they look like i mean we really see them here you know so just keeping them in mint condition that would be my bet let me know what you think guys until next time, thank you and toodaloo.